Hello, this is Damian Alomar with uh, Liquid Tectonics, and this video shows how to connect Grasshopper to Excel and have events in Excel cause Grasshopper to update. So I'm going to open up Rhino here, just let that get started. So through the VB scripting components, we can connect to Excel. And so I'm going to pull up Grasshopper here. And I'm going to load up my definition that has the link to Excel. Okay. So obviously nothing's coming up right now, but let me just open up that source and we'll see some of the code that actually works here. Uh, this right here, this is the main way we actually uh, can get Excel. And what this does is it's going to try to find the whichever uh, object is actually active uh, and try and see if it can find Excel. And if it can, then it'll work and we can get all our information from it. This here is all information just to, to read from Excel. We need to get the workbook and the worksheet and then actually go through the cells and see what's there. So all we're doing is, is grabbing points from that Excel file. So this is basically that main part where you're going to figure out what the format of your sheet is and actually get that information into Grasshopper. So we need an active instance of Excel. So I'm going to pull up Excel here and load up a file that has our Excel link here. So I have two, uh, two sheets here, and we can see uh, a little bit about what's going to go on pretty soon. So, let's collapse this real quick. So, every time we regenerate our, ex our Grasshopper definition, we're going to be able to get the link to Excel. So, just by having that connection, we're going to be able to, to read the Excel file which is good, but the problem is that Excel up changes in Excel won't actually be reflected in Grasshopper. So if I go through here, and I'm going to make this a little smaller so we can see. If I go through here and update the start value, say it's 4, these, these values here aren't, aren't reflecting that change. I would have to go through and manually rebuild those in order to, in order to see that change. So if I change this back to 0.25. These I have to manually update every time. So the idea is to have Excel actually update or tell Rhino or Grasshopper to update once we make a change. The problem with this is, is that there's no way to force Grasshopper to change other than changing a value inside of Grasshopper or changing a value inside of Rhino that is connected to Grasshopper. So we can't just ask it to change, we have to sort of trick it into changing. So to do this, the basic strategy we're going we're gonna to take is that every time something happens in Excel, we're going to move a point that's connected to Grasshopper, and that will force the update. So in order to do this, we actually need to do some coding inside of Excel. So I'm going to bring Excel back up. I'm going to make this a little bigger now. And I'm going to go into Tools, go into Macro, and bring up the VB Script Editor. And this actually is a, a subroutine that will only be executed every time Excel changes. So if I go in and change a, a cell, it'll automatically run this routine that I'm telling it to now. So we need to find. Uh, Rhino just in the same way that we found Excel from, from Grasshopper. So that's actually what this is doing, is actually grab, getting the uh, instance of Rhino. And then we need to control it with Rhino script, so that's what we're getting right here. And after that, all we need is the point itself. I'll talk about this a little bit more in a second. And then the way to actually update that point. This 
sub itself is actually for just one of the worksheets. If you'll notice, I actually have this worksheet open, which doesn't have an event on it, but this one actually does. So we'll kind of make the switch over in just a second. So back to our point, in order to actually be able to link to the point, we need what it's referred to as its UUID. All it really means is that it's a unique way to actually f figure out what is what is an object. So this is a crazy numbers and letters value that we have in, in Rhino. And I'm going to pull up Rhino here. So I'm going to go through and add a point. It doesn't really actually matter where I, I put it right now. But I'm going to select that point, and then I could run the what command. I could also run the list command. It's Both are going to give me uh, information that is what I need, which is this guy here. That's, that's that UUID that we need. So I'm going to copy that. Close this. Go back to the VB script editor. And paste that in here. So every time you want to run this, you're going to need to actually copy and paste that UUID back into this subroutine in order to get it to update. If you already have a file that you saved the Excel file and the uh, Rhino file with that point in, you won't have to update it. But that's, that's pretty much it there. So I'm going to close the Excel VB editor. And notice here. So now I'm going to switch to the the sheet that I have that actually has that change event subroutine. And we're going to try to keep a close eye on that point because as soon as I change this, I'm going to change this to something a little bit less. We notice our point is going to move. And so our point is actually back here at the origin. That's set right here. We're setting it at 0, 0, 0. We could set it anywhere if we want. 0, 0 is fine because we don't actually need the point to be anywhere other than to update. So now we're kind of running into the next issue, which is we're updating the point in Rhino. You can see that we're running that command as soon as we finish, as soon as we press enter. But nothing is actually happening. We haven't actually updated anything in Grasshopper. So the next thing we need to do is kind of seems a little bit odd, but it makes sense. Grasshopper will only update when something about its definition isn't valid anymore. So right now, obviously all we have is this component here, but it doesn't rely on anything. So there's nothing that expires, nothing when anything changes, nothing to tell it to update. So what we actually need to do is add a point object. I'm going to right click and grab that point we just made. And we actually need to make that connection there. Because as soon as we break that connection, or as soon as we add that connection, any changes within that value, within that point are going to force a change. And as of course you see, as soon as I connect that, all of a sudden we've got our crazy, crazy line here. And so now I can open up Excel. I'm going to put that right in the middle here. And I can play around with crazy values and so there are a bunch of formulas in here that really don't mean anything but we'll see we'll see it update dynamically so that's basically the main strategy of getting updates in Excel to echo into Grasshopper and actually have them uh, change dynamically and you could probably use this you know, this sort of idea of connecting to Rhino and, and updating that point and to get other things to update.